My name is Ollie Gargan and I'm a photographer based in Baylor here in Cavan. I got into photography in about 2012, 2011. I always had an interest in it beforehand, even before I kind of got into it, but um, I just wanted to bite the bullets and purchase, I purchased myself a little bridge camera at the time um, and I used to just go out locally, different scenes, lakes, I then upgraded as well. I uh, bought myself DSLR and Nikon as well. I think that was around 2014 and that really kind of just ramped up kind of how much I really enjoyed it at the time. In 2016 to 2018, I done a multimedia course in Cavan Institute. I really wanted to get into uh, video editing, a bit of graphic design, something creative. You know, I always kind of wanted to go do something down that line and was kind of implementing that with, you know, you always had an eye, you were looking out for different shots and you could bring that into the video side of it. Uh, I also like really enjoy like the editing side. So I have lots of different uh, software and programs, just kind of really just pinpointing it, maybe getting a bit more expertise on that side as well. Uh, I just think it's good just to switch off, you know, like you work your nine to five. I just like to just grab the camera, pack the bag, put the headphones in, you know, off I go. Um, a lot of the time now it's, Kind of spur of the moment thing. I can just decide, you know, I'll go off here for a couple of hours, but other times all week I'll be get the idea in my head, you know, I'd like to visit such a place. Um, kind of the person I when I get an idea in my head, it doesn't go, you know, I just I want to go and I want to do it. And especially like when, when lockdown came in, you know, in 2020, uh, you just like you obviously take your hometown, you take your local area for granted, you couldn't go any further than five kilometres. It really like does helped during them times as well uh, and I probably t took some of my favourite shots in 2020 and 2021 during lockdown originally um, it's, just, it's good for your mental health it's good exercise um, it's good social social skills as well I'd be in a Breffney photography club uh, we meet in Virginia every fortnight I would probably be a member seven eight years now and um, cater to all levels we'd have beginners intermediates advanced we do different workshops, we get guest speakers, uh, different competitions, uh, it's nice. And we do different outings throughout the year as well. I do like like the group you know, interaction as well, but a lot of the time I do like kind of good off my own. You know, it's not what's it like I'm a loner, but you know, I like that peacefulness, that kind of time to yourself at times. So I don't think I like pinpoint or stick to one kind of style of photography or genre. Um, yeah, obviously I love I love landscapes, um, showing your local area. I love urbics, which would be photography in abandoned buildings also. I would kind of tap into, you know, the mental health side of things, um, you know, uh, especially like for men and you know, and it's important I'd say that, you know, how you are feeling. And I always think that if someone can look at a picture of mine and look at emotions and look at the feelings and think, do you know what, I felt like that and you know, and maybe might get someone else to talk and you know, and I think I think your voice for other people that sometimes just can't speak or so I think that's important too. You know, I think everyone has a creative side, they mightn't know what it is. Like you're saying if an artist puts a uh, paint to a canvas, a writer puts his words, you know, I think a photographer has that power to visualise not just what I'm feeling, but what other people are feeling at the time. I think sometimes it's just, you hold yourself back and you think, uh, maybe I'm not good enough or maybe someone won't like it. But uh, I just find lately, I'm just thinking, well, if I like it, you know, that's the most important thing. Like when I go to a new play or a new scene, I always just take my time originally. Like I look around and I like to see what I want to photograph. And then I take the camera out and it just gives yourself a bit more time um, to get familiar with your camera um, get familiar with your scene as well. Um, I'd done a few local courses at the time as well and a few online things that kind of built up a bit of confidence in it. Like that, I just, just don't think, hold yourself back and just go for it. Facebook, social media is a great way just to reach out for people as well. No one starts off as a professional, you know, everyone kind of has to start off somewhere. But sometimes it's, it's the simplest shot. And like there was a shot here I set up in my Faraday pub where a gentleman came in and he ordered a pint of Guinness and he went out for a cigarette and he left his hat and his walking stick on the bar and it was just that instant moment I thought that's an amazing shot so I went inside grabbed my camera 
went around the other side of the bar, they took it and with one shot and I put it into black and white and I called it the portrait of a gentleman. It does, they've won so many competitions and published in different magazines and it was just a spur of the moment shot like that. I do enter quite a lot of uh, photography competitions and different contests and I do win quite a lot of them at times. Um, it's, it's good confidence, I'm not going to lie. Wikipedia uh, runs Wiki Loves Monuments every year uh, for local uh, monuments and historical sites as well. So I've last year I got second place in it, and I think in 2019 I had first place. But every year, I think for the past five or six years, I've had a top ten place in image. And they go on to represent Ireland in the international rounds. I love to even get into like the printing side of it. I think like people love seeing the prints because last year I done 30 limited edition, and I uh, a member in the club with us, Jim, does mounts. Do you know mine? So I got my own stuff printed, but he gave me the mounts and the back of board and I mounted and I backed, touched it on limited edition print off bail about local scene. They were gone in about five or six hours. Mm -hmm.